So what is the difference between the data admin system settings or DSS, sometimes we call it as in a short form DSS, uh, and rule system settings, okay? So which is RSS, okay, or system settings we call it as, okay? So uh, in general, like they, be, they might call it as a DSS, okay? So what is the DSS is? It's a data instance. So uh, it is not associated to any version. So data admin system settings is not associated to any rule set version. But whereas the rule system settings is a rule, so definitely if it is a rule, it is a associated to a version. Okay, so it is bound to a version. So what is the between difference between these two majorly is about a data instance. So this is the data instance, which is not associated to any version. But whereas the rule system settings is associated to a version. Okay, so now uh, in general, I will show you in the designer studio. So in the data admin system settings or system settings will come under the sysadmin category. So just expand the sysadmin category. So you do have the data dynamic system settings. So you can see here. Okay, so dynamic system settings, DSS, we call it as. Okay, on data admin system settings, DASS, we call it as. Okay, so dynamic system settings. So here we can see any of the DSS that is created. So we just have only a single value here. Okay, so in general, while we create a DSS, so let's create one small DSS. So it just have only one single value and there is no checkout and check-in options available because it is not a rule set. It is not a rule set version. It is not associated to any rule set version. Okay, so you can see only the rule set is specified in the header. There is no version specified. Okay, so as and when uh, you have to create a DSS, so you just click on the create rule. All right, so just click on the create DSS rule, new. This segment, dynamic system settings. So in general, the hard-coded values were whatever the hard-coded parameters where we need to update the values in general, okay? So any kind of a server-related configurations or application-wide, any hard-coded parameters like URLs are there, okay? So let's say this HR application is going to have a payroll URL, okay? So for the payroll, I may, I may use the third-party system. So here, I can specify the role set which it should specify uh, this belongs to this dynamic system settings I'm going to associate to a rule set. So I need to specify that. And this is a payroll URL, let's assume. Okay, so this way I'm going to have a URL that might be utilized somewhere. Okay, so here I will specify some URL, some payroll.com. So some, some URL I may specify, okay? So this is something which is a hard-coded parameter and it may change from one environment to another environment. So maybe for dev, this is the one and for test, it may have a different one. So you no need to do a checkout or check-in for even if you are moving the code from one environment to another, we doesn't need to deploy the code into the next environment. We doesn't need to uh, have a separate deployment. We just open this DSS and update the value, okay? So maybe for dev, it may, it may be this way, and for test, it may be this way, okay? So you doesn't need to explicitly uh, do any deployments if you are moving the DSS. But whereas if it is a rule system settings, definitely it's a rule, so it is associated to a version. So definitely we should have a version, an open version available. Okay, so we should have an open version available to do make any changes. Okay, so some settings. I think this is named as application settings. Let's try this one. Okay, so creating a application system settings. 
Yeah, so this is renamed as application settings, I think. Uh, so earlier we used to have a system settings. So now it was renamed as application settings, okay? So remember, both are same. So here you see the uh, level of production. So the dev test, okay? So you do have separate environments and each and every environment may be having a different URLs. So here we may have one URL for sandbox. Okay, and one for dev environment, one for test environment, one for staging, and one for actual production. Okay, so this way, if you are having a separate environments, okay, so let's say for QA, SIT, we may have one, and for dev, we may have one, a sandbox, you may be using the same, whatever we have for dev. Okay, so this way, if you are having a application system setting, so then in that scenario, so we can specify the uh, and uh, uh, environment wise, which URL has to be taken. And this production level you can see on the clipboard. By default, this is set on your server. So you can see this under the system pages. And here you can see under the PZ production level, I think under the PX process. Yeah. So under the PX process, you can see this is the PZ production level, which is set as two. So which is a development environment okay so similarly you will say uh, for sit if it is the, the production level will be three so four will be for staging and five will be for the production environment so this way the different set of production levels will help us to take which particular value i need to pick it up okay we doesn't need to explicitly set or update it in specific environment we just update it and send it so and also remember this is associated to our rule set as well as a version as well so since it is a rule, so it is it has to be there is a checkout and check-in options are also available for us. Okay. Now, what is the uh, functions that we use in general while we call this function? So in order to get the DSS or get the value from the rule system settings, what are the different different functions available? So we just have get system settings. So there is a standard function called get system settings. I can go with uh, data transform and utilize over there. Let's create a small data transform. you just need to remember some of the functions as well so out of this this is one of them okay okay so here you may set something like endpoint url so p by endpoint so i can use something like uh, any existing property, I don't want to create a new one. So PY V line. Okay. So I'm going to use the existing property on the target and source. I have to use a function to call either from the DSS or system settings. So not both of them we use it based on some of the scenarios. So if in case you are aware of it, so then that scenario you can use the system settings. Okay. If you are not aware of it, the value, if it is coming as an ad hoc, which is a dynamic, okay? So then in that scenario, you can use this, okay? So you can see here, get system, get data system setting is one, get rule system setting is the another one. So when I use get data system setting, so what is the inputs that we need to specify? Owning rule set and system setting, okay? So you see the function, which whenever we call it, so it has some different parameters. So what is the setting? So here you see, HR app is the rule set. Okay, and okay, and followed by settings. So here, if I am going to call this, so this is your system setting. Okay, so I'm going to call the data system settings. Okay, so this way I'm going to specify. Okay. 
all right so this way i'm going to call it so click on test we just need to have at the rate okay test this all right test this so you can see here we are getting the value from the data system settings which is whatever we set on this dss we get it okay so remember these functions as well so in order to call the data system settings you need to call get data system setting okay similarly you have the function called get rule system settings okay and it is on it is going to take certain parameters so you can see over here what is the input parameter? So owning role set and system setting. So same, whatever that we passed for the DSS, the same way. Okay. So the role set and followed by, let's say this is the role name, payroll URL. So we just pass it. Okay. So now what is the value that it gets for us is, so you can see here the production level whatever we have is two so it is going to take this value okay so whereas if i say if i update it to something like development okay so check out and check in so that it gets this value Okay, so you can see the value which is updated will get for us. Okay, so this is the benefit of role system settings. All right.